What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. As you can see, we're checking out another gaming chair in this segment, the Homal S Racer gaming chair. But don't think of it as just a gaming chair. It's great for the study room, great for an office room, and it's not gonna break the bank. That's most important, right? It's not one of those insane $1,000 chairs, yet it still delivers a great experience anyway. All right, let's check it out. First of all, definitely a unique look. They utilize a carbon fiber style PU leather here, much more unique than just those plain black chairs. If you look closely, you'll see it's carbon fiber style PU leather. That's artificial polyurethane leather. It's stylish, it's comfortable, it's beautiful and water resistant. You get that headrest and lumbar support cushion, which are both removable by the way, but you know, <laughs> Why wouldn't you enjoy them? It's great for your health. Uh, you've got a padded seat, very nicely padded seat, okay? And as a whole, it looks sleek and professional. So again, it's not just a gaming chair. If you're in the office nine to five or nine to seven or even later, sitting all day, why don't you reward yourself, right? Get yourself a chair like this that not only looks good, but helps keep you comfortable and helps you maintain proper posture all day. The Homal S Racer gaming chair is designed according to the body's natural shape, extending the full length of the back, supporting shoulders, head, and neck. Ah. All right, let's talk functionality. On the inside, you've got a 1.8 millimeter thick steel metal frame built with cross rows of wires that effectively accommodate people weighing up to 300 pounds. Stability, security, elegance, all in one. You can adjust the seat height with the class three SGS verified gas lift. SGS is a safety verification company, just giving us further peace of mind. I will demonstrate, very simple to use, class three gas lift, all right? Fit for people of all different heights. Uh, you've got a five star base, the smooth rolling rubber casters give you a nice quiet roll. They actually tested the chair by a thousand miles of rolling. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever had to do that test, but thank you. Uh, thank you for rolling the chair a thousand miles. Easily spin around 360 degrees. Very simple, making it easy to leave the workstation or just talk to someone behind you or just have fun spinning around. <laughs> the armrests, uh, they're nice and smooth. However, they do not change position, okay? For a chair this modestly priced, you're gonna have some sacrifices. I think they've made those choices in the right places here. All right, the armrests are still well placed. And of course, you can adjust the angle of the backrest from 90 degrees all the way back to 150 degrees. So let me show you that. Recline mode. Okay, oh, let me lock it. <laughs> you can, gotta lock it in place. Uh, if you wanna kick back and enjoy a movie, look like a super boss while live streaming. You know, whatever you can think of at 150 degrees. Allow yourself to meditate for 10 minutes during a tough work day. You know, you're only limited by your imagination here. And that's pretty much it, everyone. A very modestly priced, elegant, sturdy chair. Perfect for studying, for the office, and especially for gaming. You get that classic race car design, neck and lumbar support cushions a solidly thick steel frame that'll accommodate up to 300 pounds, so it's good for small, medium, or slightly larger build users. It's gonna make a great gift for a friend, for a loved one, or for yourself. A very ideal seat. My dear eggheads, the Homal S Racer gaming chair. For specific pricing, please check the description or click that link below. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you've got a dual monitor setup, this video is for you. If you've got a dual monitor setup and you're tired of all the space it takes up on your desk, this video is definitely for you. We're taking a look at the almighty Huanhua dual arm monitor stand. All right, and I already have it all set up right here. Before I speak any further, let's get compatibility out of the way. All right, the Huanhua dual arm monitor stand is a pretty universal mount. It's gonna fit two 13 to 27 inch monitors with VESA mounting patterns 
of 75 by 75 millimeter or 100 by 100 millimeter. It'll securely hold two monitors, each weighing between 4.4 to 14.3 pounds. All right, check your specs. The monitor stand will not work on glass or particle board tables, all right? So if you're on a glass or particle board table, you'll just have to buy a new table along with the Huanua dual monitor stand. The monitor stand can be fixed via C-clamp, all right, fitting desks with a thickness up to 3.26 inches, and it can also be mounted through a grommet mounting hole in the desk. The grommet mounting fits desks with thickness up to 3.4 inches, all right? So you mount the stand according to your needs. Just check the specs of your monitors and tables. So if your monitors and tables are a good match, Let's keep exploring this fine product. All right, so this is very cool. The dual monitor stand works via gas spring. It comes with two gas spring arms that you can easily adjust to get a better posture, relieving strain on your neck, back, and shoulders. Both arms are directly mounted onto the desk, creating greater stability, and adjusting one arm will not move or affect the other arm, meaning adjusting one monitor will not move or affect the other monitor. See, I can move or adjust my left monitor, the right one stays in place, or if I need to adjust the right one, the left one stays in place. Very, very convenient. And just look how much space I freed up from my desk. So instead of putting two monitors directly onto your desktop, this dual monitor stand holds both monitors above the desk at eye level with adjustable arms. You also get full range of motion adjustment. All right, so these dual arms can both be swiveled 360 degrees and the Vesa plates rotate 360 degrees, swivel 180 degrees and tilt from plus 45 to plus 90. Check this out. Okay, so adjusting to 45, back up to 90. I can move this around. I can have a monitor like this. I can continue to move it around. Okay, so a full 360 degree rotation. I'm gonna bring that back, check this out. So, you know, it, this is just an added bonus. All right, you can place both monitors in portrait or landscape positions, and they don't have to be the same. So if you're a visual artist, photo editor, gamer, streamer, composer, stock trader, or if you just want an elite movie setup, all variations of display requirements are possible here. All right, so depending on the weight and size of your monitors, you'll have to use the tools provided to counterbalance the weight using the gas spring adjustment. The arms are adjusted by Huanua's secure gas spring mechanism. To adjust the tension in your monitor, you'll simply come over here, use the tool, and you'll turn clockwise to reduce gas spring tension for lighter monitors and turn counterclockwise to increase tension for heavier monitors. And once you find the right balance, the monitors will remain level in place. If you don't balance it right, the monitor might swing upward or downward. So you will indeed have to spend a few minutes finding that perfect balance, and you definitely wanna spend the necessary time possible for that. Uh, also included is are the cable management chassis. I don't know if you can see that from here, right here. The cable management chassis, this is awesome. All right, these arms attached here, keep your cables, right? Keep your cables neat and organized so you can say goodbye to messy and tangly wires. I, I think they've really thought of everything. So when it's all said and done, you're going to have a perfectly balanced dual monitor system, right? That's easy to adjust to different programming needs. And that's basically it, eggheads. With this dual arm monitor stand, achieve perfect harmony with your displays. All right, twist and turn between landscape and portrait, right? You can stack them on top of each other even. Enjoy a tangle-free open space desk. Again, just so long as your desk is not glass or particle board and your monitors have VESA mounting patterns of 75 by 75 millimeter or 100 by 100 millimeter and between 4.4 or 14.3 pounds. <laughs> they do not have to be the same weight or size, by the way. Okay, your monitors don't have to be exactly the same. Mine here are, but yours do not have to be. Uh, they just have to be between 4.4 to 14.3 pounds and 13 to 27 inches. 
I love products that make workstations more accessible and manageable and sleek. This one gets five stars from me. Let us know what you think in the comments and reviews. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. The Huanhua Dual Arm Monitor Stand. My dear eggheads, this has been New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you're in the market for a mid tower computer case, please look no further. I've got the Dark Flash V22 computer case right here. Dark Flash is an awesome worldwide company founded in Taiwan, now with offices in the US, Korea, and China as well. Very highly reviewed stuff. I believe you'll be very satisfied with this product in particular. We've got a sweet, unique vertical installation layout among other cool things, so let's check it out. All right, what we'll do first is talk about the size and compatibility. I'll then introduce the features on the outside. We'll finally conclude with exploring the inside. All right, so overall size. You've got great leeway in terms of overall size. It'll support ATX, micro ATX, and ITX motherboards, graphics cards up to 310 millimeters in length, CPU cooling units up to 167 millimeters in height. I wanna get these measurements out first because if your graphics card or cooling units are too big, I don't wanna waste your time and have everyone be like, oh my gosh, Kenan, why did you wait until the end of the video to tell us that? No, okay, so let's say that one more time. ATX, micro ATX or ITX motherboard, graphics card up to 310 millimeters in length, CPU cooling units up to 167 millimeters in height. This should give you tons of flexibility in how you upgrade and customize your noob poning system. All right, moving on. The V22 really boasts a simple yet sleek design. I mean, just look here. The mint green painted case shows off a minimalist style. You get an overall clean look, not noisy at all. Other colors may be available depending on stock as well. Black, pink, or white. So overall, four different colors depending on what's available. And with this style, you'll be able to really show off your internal hardware through the tempered glass side door. Super easy to assemble, tool-free, magnetic design, okay? The case itself is all SPCC metal. That's commercial quality, cold rolled steel. I want you to notice the mesh on the sides, okay? On the front sides here, got the nice mesh. There's also some of that on top of the mesh here. You're really gonna get superior airflow with this case, okay? In the front, you've got enough room, check this out, for three 120 millimeter fans or two 140 millimeter fans. A dust filter that spans the entire length, check this out. There is a, <laughs> why do you see that? There's a dust filter, see that? That spans the entire length of the panel Okay, in the back, you've got room for two <laughs> swinging doors here. In the back, you've got room for two 120 mil 20 millimeter fans or a 240 millimeter water cooling unit. All right, fans are not included in this case at all. Uh, you may initially think that's weird that fans are not included. I did too at first, to be honest, but most cases, you know, come with generic fans. And most modders have their own fans anyway. So I actually appreciate Dark Flash saving plastic, saving the environment a little bit. All right, no need to throw in generic fans. I mean, if you're buying an awesome case like this, it's assumed that you won't be using generic fans anyway. All right, so you can shop around our site for some awesome gamer-friendly fans after finishing this video. You'll notice that the back panel, okay, another... <laughs> You'll notice that the back panel is held together with extremely user-friendly thumb screws right here. Okay, I hate having to use tools to open a case or having to pinch really tiny screws. That is always very annoying. This is just easy. That is how it should be. Look at this. It's going to be so easy for me to access this back panel. One moment. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you will notice back here, I need to make some room. There are two 
SSD drive bays, and a removable hard drive bay. All right, this little piece of cardboard is representing a hard drive. Uh, and so there is also, let me see, <laughs> there's so much in here, a removable dust filter on the bottom. Check that out. And that is going to help protect the power supply. And then let me finally show you what's on top. On top, you've got your I.O. ports, power, two USB 3.0 ports, plus HD audio. I mentioned earlier that this case has a unique vertical layout, all right, different from the traditional VGA horizontal installation. Vertical installation can actually reduce the pressure on the motherboard. This prevents deformation. It adds lifetime to all of your hardware. Therefore, you know what I'm going to say, saves you those dollars. All right, because of the vertical installation, your IO ports point upward. All right, so up here, I will show you. You also have a cable storage room under this panel. All right, so this is really convenient. Under this panel, you get a whole section devoted to cable storage. Keep your system looking clean and tidy, easily accessible. Makes working with all of your hardware very streamlined, less fiddling with parts and more time smashing like buttons and saying you like my videos in the comments. CPU coolers will direct airflow upward as opposed to out the back. Uh, and because of all this, you should see lower average temperatures on your graphics card because airflow will be coming in and hitting the graphics card directly, right? When you add more fans to the case, the effectiveness of each fan compared with the same fans in traditional cases should be obviously better. Uh, you don't get a PSU shroud in the case, but you don't necessarily need one. In fact, if you want to show off the lighting effect of an RGB LED power supply, that's totally possible now. And that's basically it everyone. Dark Flash has made the V22 computer case into quite a gem as far as mid tower cases go. You got all that SPCC steel, tempered glass, easy to work with side panel, back panel, room for a lot of fans as well as water cooling, the unique vertical installation of components, maximizing the effects of airflow, temperature regulation, and cable management. I can't stress that enough. Having the vertical installation, your graphics card are going to be sitting up vertically. The airflow is going to hit directly, much more surface area of airflow. Your average general temperatures are going to be much lower. It also maximizes how you can show off your internal parts. And I'll say it one more time. It supports ATX, micro ATX, or ITX motherboards, graphics cards up to 310 millimeters in length, and CPU cooling units up to 167 millimeters in height. We'd really love to know what you think of this case. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions right here for us. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. The Dark Flash V22 computer case. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you are a professional modder or getting ready to do your first mod, this is going to be great for you. The first player, Steampunk Series Sleeved Extension Cable Kit. Let's open the box and check out these fine, fine wires. All right, so this is everything you get in the box. One 24-pin ATX cable. Check that out. Very nice. You get two 4 plus 4 pin EPS cables. Very good. And also two 6 plus 2 pin PCIe cables. And also a little baggie of cable combs. All right, you get two 24 pin, 8 8 pin, and four 6 pin cable combs. With this kit, you're going to be able to extend the reach of your power supply connectors for easy installation, no matter what kind of setup you got. It's going to be especially useful for anyone using those kind of behind the motherboard tray cable management, uh, or if you have one of those vertical alignment cases with the cable cubby holes, uh, uh, that's going to be perfect for you. That's exactly what these are for. Take a closer look at the cables. Check this out. They're all the same length. All right. So each of the cables is 350 millimeters 
or 35 centimeters or 13.78 inches in length, whichever denomination you like. Uh, you've got black connectors on both ends. All right, so black connectors on both ends. And wow, check how soft and flexible these cables are. All right, that's, that's awesome. It's definitely easier for cable routing than average market uh, cables out there. They're all like that, all right? All nice and flexible. So you're gonna get extremely clean cable management out of this kit. Uniform design, perfect for modding enthusiasts. All right, so going deeper into the cables, you may be pleasantly surprised when you find out that these premium sleeved cables come with three layers of protection. The innermost layer is 18 AWG wire. AWG means American wire gauge. If you wanna sound super knowledgeable, you can say it's an 18 gauge wire. Yes, my cables are 18 gauge. Uh, <laughs> there's actually a lot of complicated mathematics behind the grading and measuring of wires, uh, starting with a logarithmic system created in 1857. Basically, a solid 18 gauge wire is about one millimeter in diameter. The middle layer is covered with insulation to provide ideal heat resistance, and the outer layer that we see here is premium soft nylon woven cable. But wait, there's more! These are black and red, obviously, but you do get more color choices. You need to as a modder, right? Create that neat high class look either with these red black extension cables. You can also find white. Okay, you can get a whole kit in white. You can get gray. This is what the gray would look like. Or white and blue. Awesome, all right? So all, of course, subject to product availability, but rest assured, each mixture can match different customization demands. So many awesome looks are possible. To see what's available and at what specific price, please check the description or click that link below. Let us know what you think of these modding cables in the comments or reviews. I'd love to check out your feedback. We take all customer feedback to heart. This is the first player Steampunk Series Sleeved Extension Cable Kit. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know.